see this question number three. A project team is working on an API implementation using RAML definition as a starting point. Okay, so they started uh, with RAML and they are implementing it. The teams has updated the RAML definition to include new operations and has published to exchange. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, other team is working on Mule application consuming same API implementation. Okay. So, a team has designed a RAML in Design Center and published to Exchange. <laughs> and also, they started implementation. Then, what they did? They created they added some more new operations and they published another version, new version into exchange. Parallelly, another application, client application is using the API. Okay. <laughs> During this development, what must be performed by the application team to take advantage of newly added operations? So this client application, what it should do so that it can take advantage of new operations published to exchange okay what are the options update the api connector in api implementation and publish to exchange oh do we create an api connector in api implementation and publish to exchange never right actually if we have uh, created a API and published to exchange connector will be automatically created for your API in exchange we can download it let us see I'll show you see this is my uh, exchange and I have published an API called as my bank API this is the my bank API and you can see just if I publish the API I will be able to download this API as a connector. This is automatic. We don't need to do anything. Even in our Mule application, suppose if I want to use that connector, I can search in Exchange by logging in with my ID and then I will search with my bank. See? It is available. I just need to add it and finish it. So then the REST API will be available in my AnyPoint Studio as a connector. Right. So we don't need to create that connector. No, first is not correct. Scaffold the client application with new RAML definition. Oh, on the implementation, we write the scaffold code. But not on the client side, right? No, this is not the correct answer. Third one, update the REST connector from Exchange in client application. This is correct. So in the client application, you have to update the REST connector from Exchange, like I have shown you. <coughs> the scaffold API implementation application with new RAM. This is on the server side but they asked on the client side so according to me this update rest connector from exchange is a correct answer okay so let us go to question number four refer to this exhibit okay http listener and logger are handled from which thread pools respectively okay uh, actually, HTTP listener, we know that it is using Grizzly thread pool and logger is from the Uber thread pool. So, shared Grizzly, yes, this listener will be using shared Grizzly thread pool at runtime level. So, in the options, I can see shared Grizzly pool and CPU light. Actually, um, there is no thread pool called as CPU light in the latest version. It is Uber pool. <coughs> right? 
so shared grizzly pool is there and it should be uber pool or uber pool but they gave this confusing option cpu light of course logger does cpu light operation only here there is one with uber and non blocking but there is nothing called as a non blocking thread pool grizzly of course shared listener listener uses shared listener so according to me this should be correct the options are not very correct actually it should be shared selector pool and uber but normally uh, logger does a cpu light operation maybe we can actually use it okay so according to me this is the option but here it has to be uber somehow they gave this <coughs> but this is not correct not non blocking of course http listener uses nivo and grizzly um uses okay grizzly uses uh, non blocking but here they said respectively also first http listener then logger as they said respectively so most probably this is the correct answer right according to me http listener is the first one so shared grizzly is correct okay let us go to next question an organization has an api currently used by customers deployed to a customer hosted mule runtime cluster okay organization has an api currently deployed to customers deployed to a customer hosted runtime cluster the load balancer that is used to access any api on mule cluster is configured to point to applications hosted on server at port okay 443 they attempt to deploy second api using 443 port okay mm -hmm. <clears throat> but the application will not start and checking the logs shows an error indicated address already in us because they are deploying to customer hosted mule runtime cluster if second api also is using same port then there will be port conflict that's the reason okay which steps must the organization take to resolve this error and allow customer access so normally we know um, if you want a shared port the http listener has to be created in a domain project so here i see the third option move the listener configurations from apis from the individual apis and package them in a mule domain using the mule domain project using port 443 according to me this is the correct answer yes this is surely the correct answer Okay, see you in next lecture.